we're going to slide this in. I need a little excess here. We can just kind of peel off and shoot it back. Line it up. Stuff it up. Line up there. Go back through. And I'll tell you what, you can do it by yourself, but it's sure going to be nice to have a, another person here. So you're just lubing the outside of that to slide the casing on there? Yep. No comments right now at all. We're going to zoom in this camera a little bit more so we get a... And uh, I can guarantee you they would not, in a shop, tie this off, but I do. And the reason they wouldn't tie it off is because now there's air in there, but I'll show you what we do. To resolve that, give me one more second. <coughs> I believe the area he's talking about is we're going to have air in the container here from having the meat put in there. And you just have to purge that air out a little bit. All right. A wheel man here to get going. We're going to clean this and then we to deal with that. Alright, and obviously when you're doing this, you can make it pin, take a little of the air out. You can make it as thick or as thin as you want. I'm going to have Jim turn and I'm going to kind of control it. I like that. If I'm going to have a big old Italian sausage, I don't want it big. Let her rip. Man, that's a beautiful color. It does look nice. <coughs> yeah, this is the part I hate by myself, even with my northern tool. But Sure is, uh, sure is nice with two people. So normally you'd be like cranking and then stopping. Yeah, and you gotta and turn it. I usually have to turn it into a spiral because I can't. I saw, a guy, you know, through my looking on the internet on everything about sausage. I saw a guy, or maybe it was on one of the forums, and he put a lazy Susan out there. Makes sense. And once it got, he got that first roll going, that thing just would keep keep turning from him. Sense. Might have even been Papa Tom, who knows what had that going. We're about a third down right now. I don't know how much uh, I'm going to stop and do the rest of the synthetic so you can take home. Oh, yeah, well. Or you want to just, I don't know if we we'll have enough to finish up the. I'm afraid it all might be gone before we get done with the natural case of what we want to do. Well, we should try some in the, in the, uh, in the, in the collagen one just to see, so we can yeah, well, see if there's a difference. So, that's enough of this. Yeah, we can just try that off. Put that back. What I'll have you do, I'm going to have you undo that and we'll put in the rest of it. And put the rest gotcha. Of it the gotcha. Okay. Now the, the lamb has this one little air valve here that hangs down. So you have to make sure when you go to put this in that you, you get it underneath there. Otherwise it doesn't want to slide in. I don't know if they all have that. I just noticed that that was in there. Now we're going to be using 
edible collagen casing, 32 millimeter. It says that this one piece here would stuff 23 pounds of sausage with a three quarter inch stuffing tube. And that is a three quarter inch stuffing tube. I think so. Yeah. So I don't know. We have what we probably have about four pounds left. So should we? What do you think that would be? There's no uh, sense in pulling that out no. and getting it nasty. So there's no tube in there, right? right. No, I think so. Now we'll let's start out. with that. Let's start with that. I mean, it's kind of. I guess it just slides over the end. Have you ever used this stuff? Yep. Oh, okay. Then I'm gonna let the master sausage yeah. stuffer here. I don't know about he that. slides the collagen on. One thing I did notice is that the tube is. I mean. The diameter is consistent. So just working it over the tube there again. It doesn't quite go on like a, a natural little casing, but it'll do. A little harder going on there? Yeah. It, which scares me because you don't want it to have a bind when you're taking Take it, it off. off. We probably got way more than we need. Then we need to pull it. You just, you know just turn it off. Yeah, let's just yeah. start with this. We can always put yeah. it back on. Yeah. All right, I'm not going to buy this. So. How about it? Okay. A little more uniform, really is not any give in it, almost like a giant slim gem. Mm -hmm. And do make the smaller collagen so you can really make a slim gem. I said before, one of the things that I've, I've read is that they, this is good because of the uniform sizes yeah, that is for food uniform. services and stuff like that. But Hold on a second. Italian there you to go. Take home. I'll give you this. I'm giving you All right. Give you a little natural casing. Well, folks, I'm going to uh, look and see if there's any questions.